Hey Michelle, how are you? Oh, I'm fine. How are you doing over there? Totally forgot what we were doing about confusion today. Ha <laughs> 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 That's a bit better. It's a wee bit more normal, I think. Sorry about that, Amber. Totally was unexpected and not prepared, as usual. <laughs> well, I thought it was time that we get back together and pair up and somehow collaborate and do a little observation of some wigs, some tips and tricks. It's been a while, don't you think? I know, it has been way too long, Amber, and I'm so glad that we're actually doing this wee collab because, you know, we obviously, guys, we've, we, we've been talking about doing this for so long, but I have been pretty bad, and Amber was so organised, so prepared, and this crazy delay on the Alden review is all down to me, so I am um, sorry. What do you think about this new hairdo I'm wearing? I think that this is beautiful, and I'm really excited because... The amazing folks over there at Aesthetica Designs. Um, they're so sweet. I love Grace. And I am thrilled to be trying out this beautiful wig, Alden. Now, Michelle, where's your Alden? We need to be twinners here. You need to put on your Alden. Show me your Alden. <laughs> oh, I'm so. I'm saying I'm ready. I've still not even got my hair on. Well, let's just whip my old in on and here she is. She's so gorgeous and totally agree. Grace at Aesthetica, rich everybody at Aesthetica is actually just wonderful. Grace is one of the most sweet, cute, lovely people I've ever spoken to in my whole life. Amber, that's me. I'm totally organised. Here's old in. I'm wearing the shade 826H. She's so gorgeous, Amber. You're looking amazing. Totally loving that blonde on you. You look so cute. But you always look so cute. You just always look so amazing. But now, yay, wig twins. We're wig twins again. Right, let's crack on with this because I think, um, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> so as many of you guys know, Alden just launched and this beauty is something special. It has such a beautiful lace front and monofilament top. So what does that mean? You have off the face styling, options for multi-directional parting, and you name it, you can style every which way. And that is so fun. As you guys have seen uh, from Michelle and myself, we love creative styling. So Alden allows you to do that really, really easily. What do you think, Michelle? Are you gonna be doing some fun things with Alden? Yep. <laughs> Totally agree with Amber. The lace front on this is absolutely phenomenal. It's really, truly beautiful the way that Aesthetica Designs have created this. The combination of the lace that's used, the actual knotting technique that's been used is phenomenal. Sorry, I'm just having a wee look in my mirror here to see. Um, while Amber was chatting there, um, I was actually just sticking a wee mini easy do braid in my hair. So it's like a kind of French braid. Easy, boho, nice, loose, not too perfect and tidy because that goes with these gorgeous beachy curls that you're seeing here with Alden. Um, Amber loves her styles and honestly guys, if you, I'm sure if you're watching this on my channel, hop over to Amber's as well. Um, I'm going to link her channel up here for you guys, but she's amazing and on her Instagram and everything, I'll link all her stuff down below. Amber always has so many creative styles. She's a lover of braids, I'm a lover of braids. She does these cool twists and all sorts of fancy styling on her alternative hair. Um, I just am of the opinion in a box it's a wig, on your head it's your hair. So I just kind of, I was going to say I treat it as such. When I had hair I didn't even do as much with it as I do with wigs. With wigs I just feel I have so much freedom actually. I am not limited. I used to feel like I was limited wearing wigs but now I've actually realised there's so much freedom. Freedom to style, freedom to change things and um, in a way it can be so much easier. Like sometimes I'll style on my head, sometimes I'll actually take my hair off and style it on a mannequin head so it's easier to 
do. Anyway, back to this review, because I am just talking nonsense, but yes, gorgeous, gorgeous lace front, and anywhere you part that top, it will look like your own scalp is showing through. It is so extremely natural because of that monofilament. It is really quite special. It's just beautiful. I am very much in love with the olden. It is gorgeous. What do you think you're going to do, Amber? What do you... What's your plan initially, your first thoughts when it comes to styling this gorgeous baby? Obviously you can see my first thought was a Mohican braid. But um, yeah, what about you? What's your, what's your initial thinking? I think I have some things in mind. Hmm. Braids, twists, updos, my mind, my brain. I'm thinking. I'm, I'm, the wheels are spinning. The styling wheels are spinning. <laughs> okay, you guys. So, what I'm wearing right here, like I said, is Alden by Aesthetica Designs. And the color is RH1226RT4. Okay, Michelle, I need to see yours. Yeah, Amber, you look so incredible. I totally love the blonde in you. You just seem to be able to pull off everything. It is incredible. You look gorgeous. Um, to me, when you're wearing Alden, it looks so natural. It does look very much like your own hair. It does not look like a wig. It does not look like alternative hair. You look absolutely stunning. So the shade that I'm wearing, I've got more of a brown tone with these highlights. It's R826H. So your eight shade is medium type brown I would describe it as a medium brown slight bit of warmth to it and then we have these 26 which is your blonde highlights throughout but the distribution of these is beautiful so just while I've mentioned my colour um, code in description one thing actually I would really like to show you guys because I know it's a question I get asked very very frequently um, through my business is what are the knots like along the front? What does it look like if you're going for a darker shade? Because often unrooted blondes can look extremely natural and sometimes, um, you know, for it's more for us wig wearers, like the kind of general public don't actually tend to ever notice that you would be wearing a wig. However, um, a lot of people do ask about darker shades, what it's like. So I just wanted to very quickly show you this incredible lace front um, that Aesthetica Designs have created. I have done nothing to this. It is literally just how it came to me, ready to wear, straight from box, and this is your lace front. So you can see this is obviously a darker shade that I am wearing. You can see the kind of colour distributions, you can see those knots, or actually what I'm saying is you can't see those knots um, because it is done so incredibly well. And likewise when we get to this full monofilament top, Anywhere I part that as well, I will zoom in here and let you see. It's extremely natural and it looks just like those hairs are growing out of your own head. So that full top section around here, you can change your parting left, right, centre, whatever kind of floats your boat and you can change it up. So that is really lovely to have that kind of option available. Um, it's just so gorgeous and your lace front does run from temple to temple at the front. It is really pretty and the lace actually on this feels very nice and um, it's not too rough. So if you're like me and you have a sensitive scalp, actually this feels nice. Now the cap size with Alden here that I'm wearing, I don't feel it's maybe as big as some Aesthetica Designs wigs can be. Sometimes I've found certain Aesthetica Designs wigs feel slightly on the, the maybe the larger side of average. Um, but I do have a petite head, so I can still wear them though, and I do still wear them. I take some of them in, others I just tighten up and just kind of go with it. Um, but I do have a petite head. This one feels, I've tightened it up, but this one to me actually feels like a nice fit. It doesn't feel too big and actually it feels very, very comfortable and it just, it's just so pretty. I love it so much. So Amber, what do you think of my hair? I don't quite know what the accent was all about there, but I just, it just, it just kind of came out and happened. So what do you think? Oh, it's like there's too many beautiful colors too many beautiful wigs and not enough days like what do you do well actually since i know that that's probably a rhetorical question and you're not looking for an answer but my actual answer to what i would do is i go through about five wigs a day it's like an addiction all right you guys i am going to describe this beautiful shade let me show you up close 
RH1226RT4 is a light golden brown base, as you can see here, with chunky golden blonde highlights and dark brown roots. I really love this shade. I love the dimension of color. The dark brown root looks awesome. I do like the light brown and those very prominent, chunky, blonde highlights all throughout. I think that it makes this wig almost seem not blonde, but kind of right in between brown and blonde. It's a fantastic in-between shade if you were transitioning between blonde and brown. Um, a lot of people refer that to as bronze. Uh, it definitely has those dark roots, so if you have darker bio hair, if you do have bio hair, you can pull out the perimeter and blend that quite well with those dark roots, and that helps with blending. So I do like that, and I just really, really love this shade. What I love about Alden is that it's right below the shoulders. It's not extremely long, but it's not your short bob or long bob. It does have some length. You have a lot of hair to work with, um, but it's not super duper long. It's very flattering, and those soft, tousled waves are very natural looking, and just beautiful. I love the layering, and with this style, you could definitely, if you wanted to, create more of a side-swept bang, or you could do a blunt bang if you wanted as well, but because of that lace front, you can pull it off the face, wear all sorts of fun styles, a top knot, pull it back, you name it. I need to kind of comb this out. I haven't combed her for a while. I need to kind of comb this out. I haven't combed her for a while. <laughs> well, this is synthetic hair, so it is wise to use your wide tooth comb. And I don't know where my wide tooth comb is. Michelle, can you pass me a wide tooth comb? Hey, look what <laughs> I just happened to have this in my hand. Here you go. Whee! All right, so I'm gonna comb out these soft, beautiful waves. And if you wanted to define these waves more after combing out, just a little spritz of water and some scrunching can help define those curls and waves and give it some more pieced out texture. Michelle, tell me your tips and tricks for your wavy styles. Do you have any good advice? I would say probably if I was going to give any advice yeah. on wavy styles, um, one thing I wish somebody had said to me way back at the start that um, nobody did is do not be frightened to get one and think, oh no, what do I do? I can't actually put a brush through that, like I can't put my white tooth comb through that because it's going to ruin the curls, they'll be gone. I don't know how to care for it. If it frizzes up, what do I actually do? Then you know, you treat it the same way as you would with straight. So, you know, use your wide, use your fingers, use your wide tooth comb, ensure that every so often with a longer wig, you pop your fingers through the nape, separate, make sure there's no tangles and knots. Um, yeah, absolutely, do what you want to do with it. As Amber has said, and you know, I've already said as well, use your water spray, use your protection sprays, and you know, give it a scrunch back up again, give it a comb through. So like if I grab a spray just now, which I'm not going to show you guys because it's something that's a work in progress from somebody, um, give me a second. Hey guys! Okay, so what I basically just did there um, was I used a spray, which is for synthetic wigs. Use whichever one you use yourself. I've actually been testing one out for 
a company that's in production at the moment and testing it out on my human hair and my synthetic wigs and I actually love it on my synthetic wigs so that's what I have just popped in to Alden here and as you can see I've gone from it being a slight kinky wave to definitely more wavy and this is going to dry out quite quickly and it's going to be back to holding its original curl. I've obviously got a wee braid I've now popped in the front here um, but yeah don't be frightened always make sure whether it's a straight or a curly wig always use appropriate products use products that are created for your synthetic hair buying alternative hair buying wigs toppers hair pieces it's an expensive business, it does cost a lot of money, so you want to maximise the time you're going to get from your hair. So ensure that you are using proper care products, that you are looking after it well. And yeah, don't be frightened, just don't be frightened. And if you fancy getting a wig that is wavy or that has a bit of a curl to it, go for it, go for it, totally do it. And you know, sometimes when you put them on straight from box, they don't necessarily look how you think it will look or how you might have seen people reviewing them look but you know for me I don't like to add products before I do a review that's one thing I don't totally change something up I would never steam a wig before a review because I want you to see it for real sort of thing so although you didn't see this straight from box you have seen it when I've been just running my white tooth comb through it that I was about to show you but I can't because now Amber's got it um, you know what you need a good combing over there let me pass this back to you. Amber. Hey, I'm quite impressed. Look, it landed actual in my hair. Woohoo! Well, I'm going to take this off and kind of show you guys the cap construction. Maybe Michelle and I can alternate back and forth. You have a beautiful pre-cut lace front with extra sheer lace for a natural customized fit. And look how deep that lace is. You also have a 100% hand tied monofilament top, dual elastic side. Aesthetica Designs has really thin wefting for lighter weight and better circulation. You have adjustable straps down at the nape. Now I wear an average size cap and this Alden wig fits my head like a glove. It's very comfortable. Um, it feels great. As you do have an open wefted back, you can slide your bobby pins and your clips and things like that into those wefts. Um, if you did have a hand tied, fully hand tied cap, you want, would want to be mindful of um, that cap construction but sometimes those open wefted backs not only are breathable and lightweight, but they're a great anchor for your hair accessories. Amber, we forgot to talk about the lengths. I've totally just realized that. Okay guys, so quick rundown on lengths of Alden. If I take her back out of her wee bun here. That's her back out of her wee bun again. So let me quickly just run over some lengths. So the kind of front fringy bang area is nine and a half inches. To me that comes to here. But obviously the more of the wave that you have in it, it'll bounce up a wee little bit. So the sides, we have 11.75 inches at the sides. We've got 14 inches from the crown. And from the nape, we've got 12 inches long. Overall, the length of this wig from tip to ends is approximately around 16 inches. So we have some, some good length. It's a lovely density. It is just beautiful. It is beautiful. Everything about Alden is amazing. I cannot speak highly enough about Alden and how much I love her. And Amber, I love you. I'm honoured to do all this with you and to share these wigs with you as well. You inspire me every day, not just with wigs and hair, you know, but like obviously as a friend, um, you are the most amazing wife, the most amazing mum. I don't know how you do everything that you do. Um, and you're there for everybody else going through hair loss who is struggling. And you know, the only, the only thing I would say to you that you need to improve on is actually focusing on Amber because you spend so much time on everyone else and you don't spend enough time on yourself because you're just so selfless and kind and it's a real honour and a privilege to have you as a friend. It's amazing doing these videos together, fabricating fringe, bald Barbie, oh no, bald Barbies fabricating fun. I just love it, I love this wig and I, I totally get why you're saying beautiful all the time because it is beautiful, it's beautiful up, it's beautiful down. Oh, it's so pretty.
just like you, we amber and aesthetic designs thank you for letting us do this and thank you for giving us the wigs as well um, in order to let us do this and to show people what's available out there i think i said beautiful i don't know i can't i don't think i can count on all my fingers and toes because that's pretty much what this wig is i don't know michelle i don't know did you count <laughs> beautiful 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 just beautiful but I can say it looks so, so beautiful on you. And I'm so thrilled to share this Alden wig with you, Michelle. It's always a joy to get together with my bald Barbie, my wee friend from Scotland, and share these wigs, these tips and tricks. If any of you guys out there have any advice, if you have any feedback for us, if you have any suggestions on wigs, colors, um, education let us know we'd like to pair up and get the content out there um, just comment below or reach out to each of us let us know and hey Michelle love you girl thanks so much and we will see you later bye